Hello guys, I'm here in the, one of my most favorite cities in the world, Salvador Bahia in Brazil. Salvador was the first capital of Brazil. In, it was established in 1549 by the Portuguese when they came to the American continent. And it has been the capital of Brazil for about 200 years, more than 200 years until the beginning of the 1700s. It has the most the, the largest population of people of African descent in the entire world outside of Africa. He said that the 10 more times of people were kidnapped from Africa and brought to, to the area of Brazil, and particularly here in Salvador, 10 times more than the population that has been kidnapped from Africa and brought to the United States. Let's, this is the fort of Santa, Santo Antonio. It was one of the first forts that uh, the Portuguese established. And so I'm here at the base of the fort of Sant Antonio and let's go around and let me show you how beautiful it is. It's, uh, it's not that big. Inside there is a museum of nautical museum with uh, interesting artifacts from uh, the Marines back in the days when the Portuguese were here and throughout the centuries. The, the fort is a position in a very strategic, strategic area. As you can see, it's uh, surrounded by the sea. And uh, that's the way the Portuguese were preventing any attacks to the, their country, their new established country. It's very beautiful. is very from inside you can have a wonderful view of the bay but also from the outside it's amazing people just uh, relaxing it's a sunday day and they are relaxing having enjoying the wonderful weather and preparing for the carnivals coming in uh, coming next month in february That's really beautiful. I've, I've been here, I've been coming here many, many times throughout the years, but this is my first time since the pandemic because uh, COVID restrictions uh, made it very difficult to come to Brazil. But I'm happy, I'm so excited I finally came here. This is uh, the view from the fort. Let me show you. Just beautiful. And people are having a great time. It's a very relaxing, laid-back city. Unfortunately, there is a, the gap between those they have and the, those they don't have is very big. So there is a lot of poverty and the poverty causes violence. So there is a, a problem with violence here in uh, Salvador. But people are very nice in general. The violence is also caused by the the gap, the, it's an economical gap and a, a racial gap. In, the, in Brazil, there is 80% in particular, in, in Salvador, 80% of the population is black, of African descent. However, they, the power, the economical power and the political power is uh, held in the hands of elite, a white elite, which creates a lot of tensions. In uh, the entire history of uh, Bahia, which is the state where Salvador is located, there's never been a governor who is black. The population, the black, uh, black here, I'm here, the, I'm here in Barra. Barra is the, one of the healthiest uh, neighborhood in, uh, in Salvador. And, uh, but there are many neighborhoods uh, around uh, this here Barra that uh, where the greatest population and the greatest demographic live, which uh, are black African descent, and they live in conditions below poverty lines with uh, uh, very poor education, no opportunity, jo no job opportunities, 
and which create a lot of issues, lots of tensions and violence. Drugs, uh, drugs that are uh, sold and, uh, and create uh, gangs. And in, in other words, many, many problems. Let's go. I'm going to walk now toward along the beach to show you the the livelihood. This this area. I love this area because it's so fun, so full of uh, people, and people just wanted to have a good time. And people from all different cultures and different colors and different um, just different way of living. This is a a little market they are having here. Let's have a look. These are selling a product typical of uh, Brazil, of Salvador. As you can see, it's beautiful. Arctic cap depicting uh, the culture, the African cultures of Brazil. So I'm going to show you the, the beach that is a crowded beach. It's for those that don't like a crowded beach, maybe it's not the ideal beach. I prefer beaches that are um, more quiet, isolated. But I love this beach because it's, uh, it's, it is crowded, but it's full of life, full of fun, and people have been listening to music and drinking and uh, enjoying life, enjoying life in general. I'm here in front of another building left by the Portuguese during the, their colonial time. It's called Forte o Santa Maria. And it's uh, another strategic position in Salvador and it was uh, to protect the area. Look at this. Look over there. The, there are cannons that were protecting. I believe they are the original ones. Okay, so we go up the fort and we can have a beautiful view of the beach. It's so crowded, but people don't care. They love that. They're having fun. And I usually like uh, Beaches that are not crowded, but this one is just amazing. Full of life, music, people drinking and eating and just having a great time. And in spite of all the people, the water is crystalline pure. Pure, clean. Let's go inside, it's beautiful. Wow. Wow, this is very strategic point. So what, this is one of the places where they were guarding it. Let me go inside, it's very narrow. Wow, it's beautiful. Wow. Oh, now it's difficult to come out. And from here you can see the, you can have a view of the fort of Santo Antonio over there where we were before. It's really beautiful. The police is omnipresent here to, to make sure that everything goes smoothly and the security of the people that are enjoying the beach. Because unfortunately there is a lot of violence in, uh, in Salvador, like in the main uh, in all main cities, big cities in uh, in Brazil. Here there are some pictures of uh, Candomblé. Candomblé is Afro-Brazilian uh, religion. I will tell you more about it later when I go to the Pelourinho, which is the center of uh, in all the all the part of Salvador. This is Jemia. I think I pronounced it correctly. It's the goddess of uh, of the sea and the water and it's one of the most revered Orisha Orisha are the gods, there are 12 gods in Candomblé and Angema uh, uh, is uh, the, is believed to be the goddess, the mother goddess and uh, one of the most powerful goddess I'm walking around the beach of Barra Praia da Barra very famous. So beautiful. So crowded. I want to go down and show you up front. 
And also the buildings are very beautiful, very colorful. The building uh, along the beach. So relaxing.